Okay, folks, it's the big moment. Now, as I, uh, as I explained earlier in the monologue, we have not had the greatest good fortune with talking birds on this show over the years. They, they get nervous, the lights or something, but people always promise that, uh, and uh, the string of bad luck really big. And this lady was booked before with, with her pet parakeet, and I uh, came down with bronchitis, and she had to go home with the bird. Uh, but nevertheless, despite this seemingly endless series of, uh, of problems, uh, I'd like you to welcome from Kimberly, British Columbia, Norma Boutignol and her talking, quote, talking parakeet, <laughs> pluming. Would you welcome Miss Boutignol? Okay, Norma, how are you, dear? I'm fine, thank well, you. Well, it's nice to see you, and this yes. is this is pluming, right? This did is I pluming. did I pronounce it a butany butany yes. We get everything from buttonhole to butonhole. I'll and... bet you do. That's uh, <laughs> the French derivation, butonhole. 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 Yes. Well, welcome. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Okay. Well, we're going to find out if we are. Uh, <laughs> No, I'm sorry that uh, it, was, it was a month ago you were booked here, yes. right? And yeah, I'm, I'm sorry ago. we didn't get to, to meet then. Yeah, everybody said you're just chicken. You just chickened out. You didn't want to... Oh, no, no. We were afraid it's a tag bird. <laughs> no, no, that's a very lovely... Uh, uh, how old is... Uh, pl pluming, is that pluming. the right name? Yes, it means feathers. Yeah. Downy feathers. Now, and did you sits. happen to see the show the night we had booked the young man? And unfortunately, I hate to make light of it, uh, but the parrot uh, bought the farm the night before the show. <laughs> Yes, and, uh, uh, I saw him that night, yes, and yeah. I, I just told Pluming that if he doesn't behave himself, he's going to end up <laughs> saying... The show is going so well, the bird wanted to watch it from the audience. Does that, does that happen? Does that happen occasionally? He's just so used to flying all the way down here that he doesn't know when to quit. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, will, will, he, will he stay there now? I think he will now. Yes. Okay. You want me to move this cage over here? Would that um, be better? I, okay. That'll be fine. All righty. Yeah. I think he's had his little fly for the day. I think well, he'll, I think he'll settle so. down. All <laughs> right. If you don't settle down, your friends Willie and Larry in Vancouver aren't going to like you very much. No, no. Who's, who's Willie and Larry? Oh, they're just some good friends of ours, yes. Okay. And Kelly and Mark out there, too. So, Okie dokie, yeah. now. So you better be good or I'm going to pull your tail feathers. Uh -huh. <laughs> Now, is it unusual for a parakeet to talk, or is it um, difficult to train this well, bird? Well, he's a very exceptional one. Yes, uh -huh. I think we've had about five parakeets, and uh, mm -hmm. they've all talked about 20 words, but this one has 150-word vocabulary. I have a, a, a sheet here, and uh, if the bird just he does any part of this, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be, be sensational. Um, now, what do you do? You just repeat the words and, until... Yes, you just actually talk to him, just like you talk to anybody else, and you just come out with a, a new word every once in a while. Good. Well, now we've seen his flying abilities. Now, let's, <laughs> let, let, let's get down to the real uh, bottom, bottom line here. I understand that the bird says, here's Johnny. Yes, we get your program three times a day. We'll have it at 9, 9.30 in the, in the evening. Three times a day? Three times in the evening, I should say, not yeah. today. 9.30, 10.30, and 11.30. We why, have three why different channels. Three different channels. Three different channels, channels all carrying? Right. All carrying oh, at a, a different hour. That's in Kimberley. Mm -hmm. What a paradise. Yeah. So... <laughs> Okay, let's get cracking here, Norma. Let's let's hear the bird open with uh, "Here's Johnny," and then we'll work our way up to the, uh, the big stuff. Well, come on, Pluming. Hey, are you going to come and say something? Usually, when you ignore him, that's when he talks. If you talk to him, uh, that's when he quits. But he he loves to talk when uh, when we're talking. Well, and so, uh, okay, let's, I don't let's, know. let's have him do that. He um, <laughs> he likes he likes the sound of water, so maybe. He likes the sound of water? Yes, when I'm washing the dishes, that's when he talks the most, so I don't know. Are you going to say something? Where's Johnny? Come on. Well, no, that's a very, very good impression of a water fountain. Now let's... It's going to happen again, I know. 
so we should just just ignore him. Just ignore him, yeah. And uh, right now he's just just chirping. <laughs> so mean, you better say something. Come on. You better. <laughs> I didn't come down here all, all the way down here for nothing. Come on, tell tell Johnny something. Come here's on. here's Johnny. Come on, see here's Johnny. Show plays her three Good. times a day. Look at if you. If what is, you what don't is this? say here is Johnny, you're not going to get your favorite dish of spaghetti. <laughs> See that? You love spaghetti, don't you? Well, if you don't say here is Johnny, you're not going to get any. No. <laughs> and neither are you. Maybe it's just a little bit nervous, uh, possibly, could possibly, that be? Possibly, yes. I'll tell yeah. you what we'll do. Why don't we go to a commercial? Okay. And the bird probably, while we're gone, will do the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> but uh, we will be right back, and this bird is going to talk. <laughs> uh, those of you who... For those of you just tuned, this is Norma Boutignol from Kimberley, British Columbia, and her parakeet, uh, what's the name again? Pluming. You just told me something unusual about the parakeet during the break. Yes, he's also bilingual. Which he means does. he doesn't speak in two languages. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, is his, what is his second language? And what, what, uh, his, his second language is Italian. Okay, now uh, I have a whole list here of words, Norma, and yes. he hasn't really done, a, 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 you have to admit, <laughs> A great deal yet, yet you said he was talking in the airport this morning? Right, he, he had quite an audience at the airport. Mm -hmm. He was uh, busy talking away. And Johnny, was... excuse me, what are some of the words you might have said? Well, uh... <laughs> busy, bus, bite, boys, beer, buddy, bread. Yes, we have... Beer? What, beer? beer yeah. Yes, you want some beer, George? That's beer? what he says. Beer? Yeah. Want some beer? Beer? And, uh-oh. <laughs> Well, there you go. Well, our, our, our record is alive and well. <laughs> For a moment, I thought we were going to have a breakthrough here, and the bird would actually do something. Well, come on, say something in Italian. Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on, say. say uh, well, how did the bird l learn Italian? Uh, my mother had him before I did, and uh, she taught him in Italian quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, um, I'll tell you one thing, he's not uh, constipated at all, and he doesn't ask when he can go. <laughs> So therefore, he makes schmice, which are droppings, so that they're called schmice in Italian. And so lots of times... Well, have him do that. <laughs> he might just leave an autograph. Have him do anything. I don't care. I'll settle for that right now. Let the parakeet take a dump. Who cares? I'm... S excuse me, that was rather let me, crude. Let me just try something, all right? Okay. What are you going to try? Here's Johnny. <laughs> Okay, now just to prove that the bird did talk, I guess we should go and show the, the tape that you sent in. Yes. Uh, of of the bird. So, uh, Bobby, Bobby, <laughs> that's our director. It was a direct descendant of the parakeet. <laughs> can you hear me, Bob? Oh yeah. Oh, but, <laughs> thank you, Bob. Okay, can we show that tape now? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Let's roll it, folks. You you will love this. Okay, you want some coffee? You want some porridge? It's good. Did you see it? Oh, my goodness, a pretty bird. Here's the mango. Where's the plumbing? Often you don't have this up all the time. See, here's Johnny. Where's the bird? Yeah, see, here's Johnny. You see, you want to be on the same basket. I'll see the bats with the nose. Yeah, we'll see. Here's Johnny. See, here's Johnny. See, here's Johnny. Wait a minute. Couldn't you be doing that? I mean, we just saw the bird. Did we? Did no, no, I'm not sure. That wasn't you doing that. That was actually the bird doing that. Actually, the bird doing it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's fascinating. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? Well, I'm, 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 no, it's not that I don't believe you. I, I, if you say the bird is talking, I, I believe the bird. I don't know. Maybe, the, maybe he needs a better influence. Maybe my husband could, you know, maybe he's got a more commanding voice, and he might be able to. Get him to well, say something. Well, maybe we should just call it quits here, because I, you know... Okay. Uh, but it, it's certainly a pretty bird. <laughs> and maybe, maybe delicious. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Yes. No. 
Anyway, no, and you did your best. I did my best. Yeah, yes, and I'm sure the bird uh, did his best, and uh, that's that's show business. <laughs> uh, the bad yeah. side of show business. <laughs> but nevertheless, I thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed your thank trip. Thank you very much, John. And, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Okay, we'll be right back after this with George. <laughs> 